very, very hard to kill a wicked witch. And what about that poor girl back there? I think she really liked you. She'll get over me. They always do. She's a pretty young witch. There'll be plenty of wizards knocking at her door. Oh, every lie you tell gets us one step closer to the Emerald City dungeon. And James Franco, I've known him as a kid, and the truth is, the first year I worked with him, he was a selfish actor. He was very inward. He didn't care about other people. He was, thought he was the biggest thing. He was egotistical. But I have stuck with him for Spider-Man 2, but I slowly saw him change, not due to me, but just as a human being, start to become aware of people around him, have a self-realization as to who he was. Uh, humility came over him. He became, a, by the third picture, I worked with him on a very generous actor. And a, a soul was being born. Someone beca was becoming self-aware and realized they had not treated others well when they were younger. And um, so I saw James, over 12 years, make this transformation in his real life. And I thought, that's exactly the transformation my character has to go through. I don't think I'm like Oscar Diggs at all, or I don't think I... Maybe in some ways, you know, I was, um, like any young actor, focused on his career, and I, you know, I wanted to be a big star, or, you know, those kinds of things. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I, was, I was like Oscar Diggs in that way. But um, I think I'm very good to my family. I'm good to my friends. You know, I, 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 I value them very much. You are capable of more than you know. Are you the great man we've been waiting for?